Good morning everyone. My name is Khalil Vijayagun Ratna and I will be presenting to you uh, our final year project titled Genomic Data Extraction and Visualization. Genomics is an interdisciplinary field of biology focusing on the structure, function, evolution, mapping and editing of uh, genomes. More specifically, our research lies in the area of metagenomics which is the study of communities of microbial organisms directly in their natural habitats. Uh, bypassing the need for isolation and cultivation of uh, individual species. Uh, both genomics and metagenomics are inherently plagued by uh, the curse of uh, high dimensionality uh, which uh, then poses a challenge uh, in uh, analyzing and visualizing this uh, data. At present, uh, models used in metagenomics for cluster identification are limited to uh, classical uh, data inspection techniques like uh, principal component analysis or PCA and uh, T distributed stochastic neighbor embedding or TSNE. So, these methods have uh, inherent shortcomings and limitations uh, that reduce capability, scalability, and accuracy of uh, the visualizations and uh, inferences obtainable from these uh, visualizations. And this is also reflected in the fact that there are not many uh, visualization tools available for metagenomic uh, data sets. Improving these visualizations and enabling uh, uh, proper inferences to be made on these uh, metagenomic data sets uh, would mean that uh, scientists are able to uh, study uh, the communities of microorganisms without actually having to uh, obtain pure cultures and cultivate them, cultivate these individual species in uh, labs. Uh, and then uh, this would also mean uh, that uh, new even new organisms uh, could be uh, found in during these analysis and also uh, scientists are able to analyze functional and taxonomic uh, relationships uh, between uh, these species this diagram shows a high level overview of the first part of our research uh, so since we are benchmarking autoencoders against techniques like pc and tsne we needed to know the ground truth labels of the sequences in uh, a metagenomic data set so this prompted us to make our own metagenomic data set using whole genome sequences from NCBI. So our metagenomic generator was used, we made our own metagenomic generator which uh, would produce these manually curated metagenomic data sets with uh, ground truth labels. And then we used the vectorizer module to do uh, KMA counting. This process of KMA counting I will explain to you in the next slide. And then these uh, KMA frequency vectors are fed into the preprocessor which is the basic preprocessing like shuffling and uh, and normalizing and then uh, this matrix is the input to the, the uh, techniques like TSNE, PC and autoencoders which uh, will then produce uh, lower dimensional representations of this high dimensional matrix and I will here explain to you what came accounting is if uh, this is uh, the string of uh, the, the string of DNA uh, the nucleotide uh, string uh, if we count uh, trinucleotides or uh, when K is 3, that is 3 mers. If you start from the very beginning, ACC is the first uh, uh, string, and then the next one, next schema is CCA, and then we count the number of ACCs in this particular string, and here it's uh, there is only one ACC, so that is why it's 1 here, and then uh, CCA, and then you have 1 uh, as you go along, you see there is 1, uh, 3, uh, 1 AAA here uh, that is shown here, and then you count so on, and then what you get in case of 3 mers is a 64 dimensional vector and then when you do uh, reverse schema additions uh, you get uh, a 32 it is reduced to a 32 dimensional vector so in this uh, diagram you see the rest of uh, the process this is the uh, matrix that we just obtained and so this uh, matrix is then used to train our autoencoder and then this trained autoencoder is uh, fed the same matrix again and we uh, obtain the reduced dimensionality representation of this matrix and we do the same with TSNE and PCA and uh, since we need to uh, get a get a value and a, get some metrics to ca in order to compare these reduced dimensionality vectors what we use is db scan we use db scan to db evaluate the clusters or to actually get the clusters and then these clusters with the db scan labels are compared with the real labels uh, real ground truth labels that we saved using the preprocessor and then we apply evaluation metrics uh, on those uh, labels in order and, and data points in order to uh, 
get a measure of the three techniques and uh, in order to make the visualizations clear we use uh, convex hull uh, to get the visualizations so the data set was based on uh, gishbrecht's paper and the data was obtained from the whole genome sequences were obtained from uh, ncb uh, we used two evolution metrics uh, validity measure which is an extrinsic measure that considers the ground truth labels as well and also silhouette coefficient uh, which does not require ground truth labels but is a measure of uh, the cluster quality so here are the results we obtained uh, as you can see auto encoders performed better than tsne and pc on the v measure front while silhouette coefficient was uh, uh, comparable and here again is trinucleotides again auto encoders performed vastly better than both tsne and pca what you see here uh, is the dimensional reduction of uh, trinucleotide frequencies using uh, our auto encoders and uh, what you see on the left hand side here uh, are diagrams that uh, whose data points are colored using the ground truth labels and what you see on the right hand side are the same diagram but these are colored using uh, the db scan clusters and also for clarity clarity sake we have used uh, convex hull to do uh, boundaries something worthy of notice here is are uh, these clusters uh, this uh, yellow cluster and this uh, green cluster here uh, the yellow cluster is uh, clostridium phytomentans and the green cluster is clostridium bijenki uh, these two belong to the same uh, family these two species but as you can see uh, the db scan uh, clustering has not been able to uh, identify them as two uh, separate uh, species in this uh, particular case uh, and here what you see uh, is uh, tetranucleotides with autoencoders and again uh, these two uh, species can be uh, shown here this is colored using ground truth labels but what you see on the right hand side here on this occasion they have been identified as two separate species and what is worthy of notice is that uh, in both representations these uh, these two species because they belong to the same family are placed in very uh, close proximity and uh, the, none of these other species actually belong to this uh, particular family and what you see here is the tsne representation of the same as you can see uh, the species are arbitrarily uh, located and it does not uh, give any inferences on uh, the taxonomic relationships among uh, these uh, particular species uh, while these two are actually from the same uh, uh, genus that is not uh, shown this is uh, the representation using pseca uh, so this results prompted us to uh, create our own visualization tool uh, which we named it uh, metagy and you can uh, access the uh, tool which is an open source uh, tool on uh, github page uh, and uh, also the research paper can be found in the links uh, provided in this slide so in addition to uh, uh, clustering and visualizations we also added the uh, 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 blast which is a basic local uh, alignment search tool so you know with blast what you can do is after you get this uh, reduced dimensionality vectors you can also map it to uh, known databases and find out uh, uh, labels find out real labels to these data uh, and uh, you can use them as well to uh, gain inferences on uh, your metagenomic data sets this diagram shows uh, the pipeline of metagy on a very high level and this uh, pipeline uh, depicts how uh, metagy combines uh, both uh, sequence similarity approach through blast and also uh, sequence compression uh, based approaches uh, through autoencoders pc and uh, tsne and here we have uh, prepared a short demonstration of uh, metagy this is metagy this tab is the autoencoder analysis tab and what you see here is the settings toolbar where you can choose your FASTA file and set the parameters for the autoencoder like the k-value, uh, autoencoder layers and the activation function. Uh, what you see here is uh, the autoencoder train is the output of an autoencoder train for the Atlantic right whale gut metagenome obtained from NCBI. Uh, this graph shows the former frequency percentages and this is the GC content pie chart for the sample. Moving on to the taxonomic analysis tab. This tab shows uh, the same output from the autoencoder with taxonomic insights from BLAST. 
Microorganisms here are colored using the hits from blast and uh, these pie charts show the distribution of reeds in various taxonomic levels like class, order, family, genus and species. And these violin plots uh, show the GC content distribution for each microorganism uh, found in the sample. This here is the TSNE PCA analysis step and what you see here is the output of the TCA PS, PCA, uh, TSNE PCA combination uh, for the same right pair gut metagenomic data set. Here are some of our publications and uh, some notable milestones that we uh, achieved through the course of our project. That brings us to the conclusion of uh, my presentation. Uh, have a great day.